Click 45 are back again to do a roundup of the weekend's games. And today I've got a very happy co-host with me, Ayo, representing Arsenal in the yellow kit. You know what it is. And opposite me, I've got Chelsea fan Ali. Um, and Dan, to my left, the Man United fan. Oh, so man. let's get straight into it. With you, boys, since you're the co host, I believe your yeah. team should A for Arsenal as well. Let's A go for first. Arsenal. Yeah. Let's go with you guys first. Three points, one nil win. Yeah. But there is a lot of arguments, not just in the social media, in group chats as well, oh, talking about the Arsenal game, yeah. saying Arteta don't have the minerals to play properly. He just parks hey, the bus and hopes for the best. A win's a win. That's all I'm saying. I don't want to hear all that. A win's a win. If we lost now, they'll be the first people t- chatting that. <laughs> oh, we couldn't hold it down. A win's a win, man. We'll sort all of that later. <laughs> we'll sort all of that later. That's <laughs> later on. That's later Fairs. on. But for now, get that W, get, man. Get I don't care how. Get that W. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get 100%. that W. We used to get whipped away from home during the Wenger days. You yeah, might yeah, remember. 6-0. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. 8-2. We never used to win against 6 So what, now it's um, okay to park the bus. Now we're getting the win. That's life. That's so. life, man. We didn't That's really life, man. I don't mind, man. The wins are win, man. We went back to their stadium, made it ours. Apparently, we've won more times there than they've won at the Emirates. That's a bit mad. Yeah, yeah I mean, and yeah, they just yeah. built this stadium as well. It's a bit crazy, man. But yes, yeah, Tottenham in it. It's mm. Tottenham, yeah. You know Fair enough. Um, yeah, I still feel like one nil pragmatic win for Arteta mm. in his side. How do you guys feel about it on my left about the way Arteta played? Do you feel like Arteta needs to start? You know. Going out a bit more adventurous with the sides, how he's playing, be a bit more confident with his sides, even if he doesn't have people like Declan Rice and Martin Odegaard next to him. I don't think, I don't have a problem with it, innit? I was a fan of Mourinho's style of playing. I don't have a problem with it, but mm. I don't like the difference in the narrative behind it, innit? Okay. Nobody's getting on to Arteta saying, oh, he's parking the bus. Mm. We're acting like Arteta's a genius mm. still, innit? <laughs> but there was times in that, that game, I get it was that. 11 men behind the ball. I hear yeah. that. And they're playing, it's Tottenham, a lot innit? Of times. Not that, like, I hear that. Yeah. But I think because against different teams, he doesn't always park the bus. I guess you, man, five. Wasn't I'll, always parking. Yeah, but that's <laughs> yeah, what I'm saying. Down. Like, it depends. I was just yeah. about to say, innit? A, a good on. manager switches it up depending on their opponent, innit? Mm-hmm. Depending on. What what the game's about, innit? It's 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 a it's a derby, North London derby, do you know what I'm saying? Away from home. Sometimes you gotta just park the bus. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Where the days the pressure you on. big in those big games. Yeah. yeah. Where, 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 where are those days gone, innit? When you attack those big games <laughs> Palm and you try to win. Palm Barkley's era. Palm you know Barkley's I mean? era, You're winning yeah. off a set piece, you yeah. know what yeah. I mean? But even Jose Mourinho used to park the bus. It was normal, so... Yeah, park the bus, but it was a problem. It was a big problem. Mourinho's got this whole, like, negative stigma about mm. him even yeah. till today. Yeah. But I think, obviously, Arsenal got a very good defence, innit? And they haven't always had a good defence. So I feel like yeah. Arteta was going to look at it like, my defence is certain. I might as well. So Arsenal defence you're defensive missing, team. You're missing key players. Our Arsenal defensive this team. Is what the I won't say defensive team. Arsenal just has a good defence. No, you think about it. you got a very good defence yeah. and your attack ain't nothing. Yeah, ain't we don't have a striker right now. So we have so to work on our strength. So therefore, Arsenal are a defensive team. We have to team. work on our strength. But it doesn't mean that if a team gives us space, they won't hold three or four. Yeah, so defence is missing. Yeah, you can still exploit. It's one of those things where it's like... He looks at the game and he's like, okay, where can we play to our strengths in this particular game? Mm. Tottenham were on to us. They were at home. They had a point of approval. Like, okay, let's sit back. We've missed our midfield machines. We've got our engine missing. Yeah. Right? So yeah. we've got our all the guard missing. So he's thinking, yeah, you know machine, what? Yeah. Uncle and Jorginho, you know what? Let's just let's just keep it Skip the yeah. simple and just keep it, keep simple. it tight. <laughs> it's like, you know, it's like in FIFA. You know when you're playing FIFA or PES, yeah? Revolution <laughs> yeah. Soccer, yeah? You know, you can play, you can play, but if you don't know how to take free kicks, yeah, you're missing out. Yeah. You could be you could be a tough opponent for me, but if I know how to play free kicks, that's a that's yeah. a just like the set yeah, pieces. Yeah, I know how to take set pieces. You set know what I'm saying? Pieces don't matter, you man. know what I'm saying? It's one of those things you just need to be good at sight in particular. Yeah, and Tottenham, yeah. Andrew said himself, he said he's not trying to work on set pieces, bro. He said himself, he said, Yo, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's crazy. crazy. That's, that's crazy. Problem, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't want to say he's let's, a terrible. Let's manager. move on to Ange Postecoglou because I feel like he's got a plan A. And he's just stuck with plan A. That's Arteta it. has one because he has the plan B of being defensive, mm, pragmatic yeah, yeah, within yeah, that yeah. game. And I just feel like that was the difference. And I feel like, do you guys see Ange Postacoglu's time at Spurs? Is it going to further develop into anything better? Do you see him maybe, you know, winning something with Tottenham? I know it's, it's a big shout because they haven't done what it. Did he, I, what did he say? <laughs> <laughs> what did he say today? Like, he said, I, you said, said I usually, you know, he said, I don't usually win things, I win things. I've win oh, things. I'm in the second season. Yeah, 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 I don't usually yeah, 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 win things. What is he trying to I don't even know why he keeps emphasizing that point. Is he saying that Spurs are if 
we don't, yeah, no, he's saying that they're gonna win. He says I'm gonna win something this season. Yeah, he said I don't usually I win things. But what are you gonna win? What is he gonna win? We care about Cup. We were talking about that in the car. Yeah, Kyra is tough right now. Everyone's taking it. Ever since Ten Hag is wrecking it, he's flexing it. He's like, what? We can win that in February as well. Nah, that'll save a man's job. Everyone wants to care about Cup right now. So it's like, and you can't go screaming. It's Carabao. You got something in the bag. That's a big. It's a big deal for for Tottenham as well. Carabao Cup is a yeah. Yeah, yeah. It would they mean might a lot. Parade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They might Defo have a will. parade there. Defo, since yeah. 2008. Especially, oh. and your trophy's a trophy. You'd be thinking. Trophy, man. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, do you guys, how far do you reckon Ange could go with this Tottenham side, with these tactics as well? I don't know. I feel like the Tottenham Spurs, I mean, the fans are starting to get a bit with, with mm. Ange, you know. And, yeah, with how naive he's being and just having this plan A and just sticking to it's that. Mad, and just it? being like hella cocky, because at the end of the day, you haven't really done anything crazy in Europe like if we're being honest mm. do you know what I mean so if you're going to come Spurs and like games I think I saw today on Twitter as well on um, London Derby 7 out of 7 he's lost 5 and drawn 2 so no yeah, W's don't win, don't win. the don't fans win. ain't going to be happy with that do you know yeah. what I'm saying you got to have other but I reckon Daniel Levy would be like okay with yeah, like yeah. him floating in and out of top 4 every now and again as long being as inside Europe yeah. every now and then like, and I think he can sustain that in it mm. but in terms of taking them to a top 4 or even challenging I don't think he's got it in him we were having the same yeah. conversation about him this time last year after we beat them yeah. and we're saying he's got no plan B yeah. they were he 9 men man. he didn't change anything he and now here we are man. still that's playing the nice same still. yeah that's true that is true yeah, I feel I, I agree with you guys. I feel I think it's just gonna to come to a point where he's gonna get sacked. I feel I, I don't see his long term future at Tottenham, especially if he carries on play like this. Yeah. And then if the fans get angry with him, it's just gonna be a whole lot of nothing. Oh, basically, that's like hilarious. And I was just saying that it does. I don't think Ange cares whether he gets sacked or he walks. Yeah, he's just thinking this is club really serious because you mm. know the whole City Ooh. game last season. Yeah. Mm. Oh no, was it against Arsenal? And it was yeah. just like no, it was against City. City. But obviously. It's Tottenham one. Oh, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Going to the fans, exactly. yeah, yeah, and then yeah. now they're getting yeah, the team. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, with with yeah. that whole yeah. thing, he don't get. He innit? don't get, and he didn't invest the money well. Nah, well, look, I don't know. I was gonna actually. Do you know what? This is what I was gonna bring up since we were. I was looking at the eleven that they started with. I thought yeah. pretty good. I was. I thought it was pretty million good. Fifty million, Brennan Johnson. He's no, the he's a flop. He's, he's a flop. That's, that's, he's he's a a flop. that's yeah. Andrew's talent. He's a flop. Big, big Bro, problem. Do you know that's what London used that no, money to get? They got Elanga. Yeah, and Hudson Odoi. Hudson Odoi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's good. They got Forrest on the brilliant one there. Yeah, not if Forrest done well. They spent their money well. Yeah, Brendan Johnson is not worth 40 mil, but the rest of it, Mickey Van de Ven, I think brilliant. You know I don't like that guy. I love that guy. I think he's brilliant. He's good. Quickest player in the Prem. I think he's fantastic. I like the look of Archie Gray. I know he didn't really get a chance today. Pedro Porro. Did he even come today? No, he didn't come on today yeah. he didn't get that opportunity Pedro Porro needs to leave that team he's yeah. cold man yeah. he's great he needs to go to that Villa or something somewhere where the defence so can help him I can cuss him at Spurs but I know that he's a good yeah, player yeah he needs yeah. a defence yeah. he needs yeah. a defence yeah. I think Odeburn wasn't too bad when he came on either yeah. he had a little yeah. shot yeah. 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 My boy yeah. 100% better than Johnson I think that's a that signing could go either way yeah. 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 it depends because I saw a glancing header from him I was like yeah you just need a bit of he also seems like a typical Tottenham player where it's like it's just not going to be enough it's not going to be and he choked it every time he tried to take a shot he just like stopped yeah, it yeah, yeah, yeah. Where he, had that, he, had that, yeah. he had that good chance and yeah. he couldn't get yeah. if he carries on I don't touch. think he scored yet if he carries on for like a couple more games maybe hits that 007 then it's going to get long it's gonna, oh, yeah. Yeah. that's, that's, why, long, that's why everyone is now basing attackers on 007 yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit 007. Sancho's hit it uh, Sancho's team. escaped it now yeah yeah no 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 he didn't he got a goal or an assist on his 7th okay Havertz did he skip it Havertz did it yeah Havertz hit 007 yeah exactly double 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 we sent out double 007 double 28 you can have <laughs> yeah, exactly like that. So I feel like if Dominic Solanke doesn't get uh, clocking now, it's yeah. going to be so long. He's an absolute goal. Yeah, no, I, think he'll get, I think he'll get one because he's missed what two games. This is only like his second game because yeah. he's injured. So. Yeah, this is this is his uh, home be debut. There's going to be easier opponents where Tottenham mm. are going to create. Yeah. Yeah, you got Brennan Johnson feeding you, slat. Like. Is he feeding though? Is he? Is he is Do you my man just runs down the line, yeah, yeah and just he's so it. It's Theo Walcott esque so almost. Yeah. Just don't displace yeah. Walker like that. Walker, yeah. Walker, 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 same player, same same. Walker could finish. Walker could finish. Yeah, Walker could make. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that one when you start there. You're still in the front, like Brennan Johnson. You don't need to be scared. He's really not that good. 
Exactly. <laughs> Destiny Dogi. I think I today like he was a bit missing, but overall, yeah. I like him as a player as well. I think he's quite good. Mario, what do you think about it? Because he was a bit. Yeah. He's getting. He's Neville got, was getting on to him a yeah, bit. Yeah, he's he's got, he wasn't, he wasn't yeah. commanding. Yeah, he wasn't commanding. No, he was he decent in the first half. Yeah, though. yeah, yeah. Then yeah, he just yeah, crumbled. Then he started getting nervous. Yeah, and you can, can see it. Yeah. Loris is ghost. He's just looking at him like. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, it ain't easy. It ain't easy, man. Both goalkeepers, uh, both goalkeepers had a fantastic first half. I feel they made some crucial saves. Mm. And yeah. I feel like. Um, Raya done well, Vicari done well, but another player that I want to talk about that done well plays for your team. Man of the match, scored a goal. Someone that I feel needs to start getting a bit more respect, not just on this podcast, but just in the overall footballing world. Gabriel Magalhaes. Goal scoring defender. Goal scoring no, defender. I hear it, man. And I've, he's not got bozo jeans. I do not like when people say he's got bozo jeans. I he, do did, not, he did, do he did, He All right, maybe at the beginning of his career at mm. Arsenal. He did have a bad time, you know. I know. Yeah. He was he was that first sort of sign yeah, of where it's like, okay, we're starting to yeah. click on, innit? And I feel like, do you know what? He's fantastic. And I feel like the debate now, for me personally, is like we've got Virgil van Dijk and then you've got William Saliba. Is it Gabriel Magalhaes? Is it Mickey van der Ven? Why are you putting Mickey there? Oh, like, who, would you, who would you put as yeah, a no, Only two people. Gab- Gabriel is better than van der Ven. Only two nah. people. Saliba and Gabriel. Forget those other two. Forget those other what, two. Van Dijk? Forget Van Dijk. It's only Saliba and Gabriel. Oh. That's it. Those are the only two I want to be looking Don't at. Don't be giving him consistent. extra credit because he's been playing in a consistent Consi- back two for the last three. You need a consistent. That's important. Yeah, that's yeah, important. Look at Terry and Carvalho. You need He's got a head to give the other centre-backs, Mickey van der Ven and Romero, that part of the to see Vv van Dijk. Move that well and for fun and let these partnerships we're going to get onto that team soon we're going to get onto that team soon that was cheeky we're just trying to drop it in there he said United players don't worry bro it's alright you don't want to worry I don't know I feel like I definitely do feel like he's the third best defender in the current Premier League Gabriel who's the first Van Dijk, Saliba, and then him. Uh, for me personally, I'm taking Konate over, my man. Over Gabriel? Yeah. Konate, ain't it? Ain't it? Nah, That's man, it. He's 25 and he's still... He ain't it, bro. He ain't it. He's still not... He ain't it. Watch him, watch him. Watch him. Watch him for a full match. You look at him and say, you ain't it. Yeah, that's the problem. You ain't got it. That's the problem. You're better than Gabriel. You're just an Arsenal hater. Yeah, go ahead. Deep down, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate to say it too, but man. So to just round that up there of the Arsenal game, I feel like I want to ask you guys Tottenham, where do you guys see them finishing? Top four? Oof. No, not top four. Fifth, sixth, seventh, seventh, eighth. Seven. It was hilarious when I was seeing people proper like being confident. No, 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 Tottenham, mm. top four. Mm. Why? <laughs> based, off, based off what? Like? Yeah, I mean, I agree. I agree. I didn't. I had them eighth when I done my predictions at the beginning Could of the be season. Eighth, to be honest. And I feel like there are better teams than them. I can Definitely. think of seven better teams than them. I feel like Chelsea are better than them. I feel like Aston Villa are better Newcastle. than them. Newcastle oh, have a yeah. shout for it, I feel, even though they're a bit mm. uh, here and yeah, there. They did the win the yeah. They did win 2-1. Yeah, they did win 2-1. We won't talk about that today, but still, they did win. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Jordi. <laughs> yeah, sorry, guys. <laughs> but yeah, they did, they did win. They did mm. win. And I just feel like, even like Crystal Palace, if they start fixing up again, they, yeah. I could see them could potentially contended yeah. for the top 10. And I feel like... Who, Palace? Yeah, I can see They've it They've all got game plans, in it? Tottenham, don't Yeah, they? Tottenham just has just high line, Just high yeah, Oliver yeah. Glasner's a fantastic manager. High He's high pragmatic yeah. as well. And I feel like, yeah, it's going to be interesting it's the way we see it. Right 100%. Now. The next yeah. game, let's move on to the next game. The next game we are moving on to is Ali's team. That is Chelsea. They have... Beat Bournemouth Quick clean sheet. in a Royal Rumble match. Uh, Fourteen <laughs> yellow cards, which is crazy. Anthony crazy. Taylor, man. The reg- uh, the fans were chanting, uh, "You don't know what you're doing." Yeah. <laughs> oh, calling him a C something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah, can't we'll, say that. One, yeah, yeah. We, we can't say that. <laughs> <one>. Allowed to. <laughs> exactly. So yeah, it was interesting. It was definitely interesting. Mm-hmm. But Ali, how do you feel the game went? How do you feel Chelsea plays? Do you think there were some flaws maybe that are still that need to be was, wrapped up? It was a tough game. Bournemouth, you know what I mean? They're, yeah, Bournemouth away is not an easy game these days, isn't it? Iriola's yeah, a fantastic score. manager. Yeah, he's got them playing yeah. well. They play some mm. tidy football, in it? And they've got some danger. So Menu is, is dangerous, so Menu is it? good, you know. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. local as well. He's another local boy. Is he? Yeah, 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 yeah he is. Yeah. Yeah. I thought he was international. No, 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 no local boy. He's local mm. Yeah, he's yeah. English converted to... Ghana. I think he used to play for one of these Sunday league teams. One of these men used to play for one of these like Sunday league YouTube Sunday teams. I thought he came straight from Akka. No, no, he's from around there. Yeah, but it's like they're a dangerous team in it and they gave us problems. Mm. But 
we hold on at half time. Sometimes you go like Arsenal did against Tottenham. You know what I mean. Sometimes you just got to hold on till yeah, half time, yeah. get right. a goal. Hold on. A wasteful. certain man called Jaden Sancho came onto the pitch. Fantastic. That's a great segue quickly, because quickly. let's talk about him. Yeah. <laughs> made, that, <laughs> made that deadline day move from Manchester United. Our new number nineteen. He was yeah. old enough to make some Idris Elba meme. <laughs> yeah. No, <laughs> <that's> <laughs> I'll put that on there. Right that's now. Luther, isn't it? I said that's Luther. Yeah. It must be Luther. Yeah. So. He, he came on. Damn. How do you feel about that transfer? Do you know what it is, yeah? Because I've spoken loads about Sancho and how when I see how I feel about Eric Ten Hag now, mm. that changes things. Do you know what I mean? Because I feel obviously Eric Ten Hag has done well to an extent at Man United, yeah. But then he's had a lot of issues with some of the players, isn't it? I feel mm. like Sancho didn't help himself. I do feel like he didn't want to be at United anymore. Agree. So yeah. it's one of them ones where it's just like, we were all excited when he came to the team, and we wanted him to to bang, of course. And it just he just couldn't really get get that run of form going. So, mm. but going to Chelsea was well. It's just like <laughs> I mean, this, is, this, this is this is where he can thrive, and this is a space yeah, where he can thrive, and where he can actually make that left wing spot his own, in it. Yeah. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So it's it's bit it's bittersweet, in it. Yeah, it's bittersweet. Don't. I, I always rated Sancho, but mm. it just didn't really work out at Man United. Yeah. And he had to go. Yeah. But did it have to be Chelsea? No. <laughs> you yeah. should never let him stay in the Prem. If you're going to sell yeah, him, then exactly. sell him abroad. Dortmund was the opportunity, I feel, yeah. after the season he had. But I've maybe... Sancho didn't want to go back to Chelsea. They might have even been peas, man. They just wanted, they know Dortmund aren't going to offer the peas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you guys yeah. offered 25 million you know up front. I mean? That's certain, though. Yeah. Dortmund are probably thinking we could get him on the cheap. Yeah, yeah. Because you know, they, 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 they just wanted to cut their losses. Yeah, Ten Hag said, I don't want to see him. Yeah, yeah. Basically. Yeah. 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 Which is a problem that they keep getting themselves mm-hmm. into. And you know what I mean? At some point, it's going to be. It's not the players, isn't it? How many wingers have gone United and flop over the years? But <laughs> they leave there and they look half decent again. Like. Yeah, Angel Di Maria, I would say, after leaving yeah. United, even though he was at the mm. twilight of his career. career yeah. Going yeah. to one of our rivals as well, being Chelsea, yeah, I just feel like, yeah, mm. obviously the fans are going to love it. Do you yeah. know what I mean? So he's yeah. going to get that yeah. fan love. Everyone wants to rub it in our faces. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. it's good for him mm-hmm. and it's kind of good for Chelsea. Yes. Mm. But I, I mean, it's good for Chelsea and their six other wiggers that they've got in their books. Yeah, I but it's like cheap. To Chelsea, 60. 25 mil is change. That's light work. If it doesn't work, those wages, right off. Off. I do okay, those wages. I don't even know these wages. Is that true? Yeah, because Chelsea have got a weird wage structure right now where they're not offering players a lot of wages, no, especially after not. not in the Champions League. Yeah, it's why like we couldn't get the Osman deal done. Yeah. So uh, it's like. He's out, he's out my club, right? He's out my club, he had to go to Turkey. He's out my club, he had to go to Turkey. You can keep him warm for us. Yeah, but I'll keep him warm for you, don't worry. He's doing a little sabbatical with us. He's going to hopefully, you know, target, aim. There's a lot of videos of Galatasaray. We're going to win the Europa League. It's getting a bit too much. I know, I know, I know. And people saying drug bar as well. Okay, let's just relax. Let's just relax. You love. But yeah, yeah. Let's love him for the season. Let's not forget he's going to... Never fall in love with a love player. Let's not forget he's only with us for the season but also yeah. I feel like yeah Chelsea is going to be beckoning after should next be. season yeah. should be Napoli will and get the piece Jackson showed him. in this game against he's Bournemouth that, you know what I mean he's, he's good in it but he's just not there yet. He's missing a yeah. bit. Yeah, and he, he needs an uncle like Osman, come here, uncle. You know what I mean? Take him under your wing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you just have to. This is how you shoot. You know what I mean? When you get into the box, shoot. <laughs> Stop all that shoots. You know what I mean? You're getting playing properly. Yeah, yeah, 100%. I agree with that. And I feel like. Uh, Maresca, I think he's a very good manager. I don't know how you felt at the past two games. No, I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing like, from yeah. that Wolves game. Yeah, that was okay. Like even to be honest, the City game, I was thinking, yeah, we lost two 0 mm. against City. Honestly, in recent years, that's calm for us. Isn't it? <laughs> two 0 yeah, was yeah. like, cool. They didn't batter us. Let's <laughs> take it, you man. Take yeah, it. And yeah. we actually played half decent in it. Yeah. Then we played Wolves, whooped them, play some brilliant football. Madueke scoring. He's looking like a player that is transformed. We was gonna get on. I'm gonna get on. To he's him looking next, transformed. Yeah. We got Pedro Neto. Mm. I think he got an assist that game, and it was like mm. the football is there. And Wolves were poor. Though. Wolves were poor. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. were poor. Yeah, they were. Yeah, we showed that we can work. kind of do our thing. Yeah. 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 So go on. No. In in last yeah. season, it was like even if a team is poor, make mistakes, we can't mm. punish them. And yeah, so it's yeah, like we're struggling. I want to see you guys against like a Villa, Newcastle. Those are the teams Brian. that are, well, I can't yeah, wait. Yeah. I want to see there as well. Yeah, I want to see you guys against those teams. Because those are teams that, especially right now, they mm. think 
they can talk to if us in here. Yeah. When in previous years, yeah. you'll come against Chelsea, you're going to sit back. Now they think they can come talk to they us. They think they're easy, me. We'll finish them, man. We've got players now. We've got real quality mm. now, innit? Cole Palmer, Pedro, Sancho, Madueke, Jack Benton. Man's naming them. The name don't yeah. stop, bro. Keep But that's your attack. Your attack. I think no one can question Chelsea's attack. When it clicks, yeah, it's going to be peak. But I feel like you still haven't really addressed that defence. And even the midfield can still be here. Yeah, Enzo's not the real deal. Yeah, I mean, uh, people was, you know what I mean? They're judging too early. What that do you think about it? Too early. Enzo. That, yeah, that's Enzo, too early. Like I say to Lavia, I've only played one game together. Isn't it? That's Let's, City. Yeah. Let them have another another game as a trio there. That, that midfield. Before you continue, <laughs> before you continue, I'm going to let you continue, but do you think you guys play better without Enzo? No. I think you do. I think yesterday we what? needed Enzo. Yes, Enzo controls the game differently. Like his passing is a bit better in it. His, mm. his, he's able to control the tempo of the game. People don't act like he's not doing nothing. But he's important in our team, isn't it? I think people are just hating on him, and because he's not the goals and assist type midfielder. Yeah, but what type of, of midfielder is he then? Is he a that's a, that's a good it? question. He's a controller, isn't it? Like he's the one making the line, the pass through the lines to a Cole Palmer to now get the assist, or he's making the pass out wide to Madueke to get the assist and put it in the box. He's also making the mistakes to make you concede. Yeah. That's the thing. What mistakes? He makes. I don't, think, think, I don't think he's good. Does the players make mistakes? So like they'll make one-off mistakes here and there. Look at Casemiro. Two in one game. Big Look Cass, at Kobe Mano. He made a mistake in that game, but because it's Enzo, big price tag. That's oh, the thing. Yeah, that's that's yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. But if, he make, if he's making that. six, create like creating six chances mm. or semi chances, whatever goal scoring opportunities, but getting losing the ball once and conceding a goal scoring chance, is it not worth it? At this point, I won't point. Is, is that how it is? Is that how it is though? It's a trade off, isn't it? Mm. Is that how it actually is though, where he's creating that many chances? He's, create, that he's creating a lot, isn't it? I feel like people are underestimating what he had to do. Because people have been acting like, oh, yeah, it was in the last season when Enzo's out. <laughs> we're playing. looking better. You know, would you, would you say, would mean, you say mean, this is the season though, where you can make or break for Enzo? Because I feel yeah, like, it's like this, this is yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, this, yeah. This, yeah. This, this is the season. This no is more. It. And give him time, be fully fit, come back into the team. This is it for him. Enzo, <laughs> this is make or break. There's no doubt about the quality, in it? The guy's good. Like, he's quality on the ball. He can pick a pass. For Argentina, he even bags a goal here and there, isn't it? It's just a matter of Why getting don't we team. see it at Chelsea? That's the problem. Yeah. Because the team ain't been, the team made sense. Jelly, the team yeah. made sense until now. Now it's starting mm. to... Which manager bought him? Was he um, part that got him? Was it part? Yes. Yeah, yes, he was under part, yeah. I mean, it was Bowley or... Yeah, yeah. So he's seen yeah. Lamps. And that was a club well, side. He's seen man. Lamps. He's seen... Um, Potter, Pochettino. Pochettino. Oh, yeah. you get it. Come on, He hasn't man. even seen... A, he hasn't seen someone consistently. No, no. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. you know what I mean? Bear with the guy. He's had six months, one yeah. year managers. It's like, come on, man. Was Lavia injured yesterday? Yeah, Just Lavia's been injured since he's been injured. Game. Okay, yeah, I was going to yeah, say, because yeah. I'm seeing Renato Vega. Injury boys. <laughs> yeah, very, very yeah, injured. Who's that Vega you were? Enzo had. Vega, oh, oh, the guy that's injured. Injury signed instead of Calafiori. The guy that's from Dragon Ball Z. That's who we got instead of Calafiori. Nice cheap option. Plays left back. He can play in midfield. So is he a left back then? He's, he's a, yeah, a little he's bit our, of he's our second left back. Left back. He played in the middle. He yeah, played in yeah, midfield yeah. yesterday. Yeah. He can play yeah. centre back. Versus yeah. how he's, he's I thought versus. he looked decent, didn't it? Like, I think yeah, he could be uh, uh, promising. One to watch. But the guy I want to yeah, one to mm. watch. But the guy I want to look at, who's on very hot form, mm. and he's apparently hot because Cole Palmer's cold. Oh. Is Nani Madueke <laughs> got his England call up last week? Mm. Uh, played in the England side. You said. Last season, obviously, this was last season. Things yeah. do change. You said his future is not at the bridge. Yeah, yeah. He's, how do you feel now? Now he's making me. He's making me change my mind. Yeah, yeah. And I'm hoping to change my mind, doesn't it? Because yeah. he's showing me something that he didn't show me last season. Mm. He's showing me that he's got a right foot. Yeah, within yeah. three games of this season, yeah, isn't it? he's yeah. added that to his game definitely. And he wasn't mm. shooting on his right foot no, last season. Definitely not. Yeah. He no. wasn't attacking or even like in terms of the chances he's creating. He wasn't like that last season. Last season was a bit for himself, isn't it? So. Mm. If you're adding to yeah. your game and changing it up, you're I'm happy more than happy it. for you to stay in it. Like, yeah. You can stay at the bridge and right now he looks like he's our first choice right winger. I think I agree with that. And I think he's good been brilliant. Yeah, he's a yeah, brilliant yeah, player. He's, he's good stuff. But Pedro Neto on the other side as well, I think he's a bit, for that price tag, he got walked. That's a good sign in there. You men are jealous. Yeah, Every I don't know. One of you jealous. I think he's going to get Pedro Neto starts for you, man. <laughs> Pedro Neto starts for you, man. What side? Whatever side you want to put him on, bro. I he's better than Ahmad because he can Because bear in mind, he's left footed, isn't it? Why is he better than Ahmad? Why is he better than Ahmad? Why is Ahmad? Why is better than Ahmad, bro? I said this last season. Ahmad's a baller, you know. Ahmad is messy. Ahmad is Ahmad is messy. Ahmad is messy. Ahmad is a baller, but he's no one right now, isn't it? Let's be real. He's someone that's played. Well, because he doesn't go on Instagram calling Ruby Rose. That's why he's focused, bro. Don't worry. 
I like my boy's focus. How many Prem Gals has he got? Uh, One. He's not calling out cities as well. I think, I think, I think, how think many Prem Gals has he got? Ten Hag is a problem for... I mean, barely played for us. For you know? Amad. He's barely played for us, but the few times where he has, yeah, anyone watching can be like, yeah, this guy is serious. He's a baller. Why have they not been playing? Yeah, he's a baller, but this there's is, a lot of ballers out there, bro. It's about, you know... By the weekend, really the by the weekend has had time, innit? To be fair, well... Not, I, not think, Chelsea, I think really Maresca's like. brought an extra confidence to that Chelsea squad in general, I yeah, feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, there, there's something different about him this season than compared to last season. I definitely do feel that. Yeah, yeah, the, 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 the feel good feeling yeah. around the team and that. Yeah. Yeah. Fresh, let's fresh start. Games in, let's get to 10 yeah, games yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Manager bounds. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I'm going to ask you ask the same question that I did with Spurs about Chelsea there. Yeah. Uh, position, where are we finish? Where oh, are we thinking? Chelsea, Chelsea, they could get a cheeky fifth. Yeah. Cheeky yeah. fifth. I don't think they're ready for Champions League yet. I agree. Yeah. They're not ready. The thing is that I know that's him rating us in it, putting us fifth, but <laughs> I, don't think I'm, I don't think I'm happy with that. Fifth. No, like, I don't think they're ready. Yeah, I'm picking up Chelsea. They're, they're not, gonna be fifth. They're like, not nah, ready. Nah, they're nah, not ready. Nah, nah. That's, that's it. That's New manager. Good. He doesn't know anything yet. Yeah. Getting doesn't into the Premier League. He's been coaching at um, Skybet. That's a treble winner. Skybet. <laughs> yeah, easy, right. you know. That, he's followed the same path yeah, as the man easy. that you're yeah, the man yeah, you're yeah, bending yeah, the knee to. But our guy still got lessons from Moyes and that. That's why the defence is not good. He took a managerial job before going into... Arsenal in it or going into a big Yeah, that's team. why he's here. Yeah, he Arteta's had that experience. Gone, Arteta went he in raw. So and now imagine, went in raw, innit? Imagine when you got some went practice. Went in raw, <laughs> straight in. But I, I wish him fifth. If he gets fifth, he can build on that. Fifth and a cheeky, fifth and conference league. Win the conference league. <laughs> We've already won that, no? Yeah, no yeah, yeah, there we go. We're going to be here. We're going to yeah, be here. The teams are, yeah, the teams are done. Man, they've yeah. already brought yeah. that trophy to the bridge. Are you going as a big or something? I swear you're going a Astana or something soon. Yeah, we got some. Yeah, I don't even know that's a 12-hour flight or something if I'm not wrong. No, Chelsea, you, like, you need to if win. they win it though, they're going to flex it. Yeah, definitely. That means they won all three. <laughs> that means they won all three. Yeah, yeah, yeah but you true. shouldn't be in it. I know. <laughs> that's the thing. If they need to we win it though. Your boy they doing. need we'll to win it. Yeah. As well, you need to win it though. Yeah. Can, you, can you say right here on Cliff 45, Chelsea are going to win it? Bro, we've already won it. It's what <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you. Guaranteed. Yeah. All right, Guaranteed all right, all right, all right. Fair all right. enough. Fair enough. Uh, Dan, where do you reckon they're going to finish? Yeah, I'll, I'll probably say like fifth or sixth as well, to be fair. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, no, wait, I, don't, I don't see him in the Champions League. Above or below United? Oh, <laughs> depends on <laughs> <you> 10 <laughs> <laughs> Depends <laughs> if he goes or not. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, it depends on if Ten Hag goes or not because I don't see Ten Hag changing things. But at the end, at, at the same time, it's, it's still Chelsea. I'm not going to go on and, mm. and act like this Chelsea is is mad. They're scary. not the finished like, product. They still yeah. need to exactly. Yeah. exactly. You need to so flex. You put them in conference league. Yeah, because yeah, of yeah. you, they're yeah, in conference yeah, league. Yeah, I mean, yeah. through them out. Through them out. Like, you know oh that. man. <laughs> 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 that's that's <laughs> Superman. That's Superman. Me against Dark Side. Like, yo, where you going? Facts, facts, facts. Uh, Dad, uh, Ali, sorry. What is your final position? Do you reckon Chelsea get? Be reasonable. Fourth minimum. <laughs> Fourth minimum. Fourth minimum. That's more of an expectation rather That's than what you believe. Yeah. Yeah. I feel we're finishing fourth. I, feel, I honestly think we're finishing fourth in it. Fourth on the yeah, door. We're getting top four. Getting top four. Because conference, bro, we left Cole Palmer, um, Lavia, and I think um, was, uh, Kunku, where somebody else it, out yeah. of our conference. We yeah. don't need them, bro. They're not in the Stay squad at home. list. They're not in the nah. squad for the conference. Oh, really? They don't want them traveling. They don't want them <laughs> traveling. Yeah. Forget about them playing with Cole Palmer, rest up. You're going to struggle then. In the conference, then because you've already lost. Have the game you seen in the what teams are in? I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we lost what, the game that we, were, we knew we were through in there, man. But when it actually gets to the to the actual decent teams, yeah, yeah Chelsea do struggle. There sometimes. is no decent teams. I don't even know who's in the conference. I don't, league. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'm sure it's like, like, like a semi final or something. Bear in mind, we've won the Europa League each time we've been in it. Now you're telling us to take a step but down. You guys need to win it, though. But we might as well put in our under 23 players, and I promise you, there's a lot of pressure. You might need to win the conference league, you know. Must have pressure. There's pressure. There's pressure. Yeah, you need to win it. Because you're already the You're already saying to yourself, you need to win it. Because there's no pressure. The pressure. It's conference league, you, you man. You need to win it, though. We won't even do a parade for that. You man will do a parade <laughs> for that. Yeah, uh, first yeah, 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 Let's do a parade. Of course, of course. You have to build blocks, isn't it? Come on, man. <laughs> build blocks. This is Chelsea, Pride let of me, London. Let me see Who's what in the teams conference are in there. Let's have a look. You are a but Real Betis, that's a team, you know. Yeah, let me just... Uh, Real Betis is a team, <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, Chelsea there. will struggle, Florentina. bro. Yeah, I know. You're struggling teams, against you Bournemouth, know? so I don't think... I don't know why you feel like you won't struggle against Bournemouth. Don't, don't think you're going to walk it, though. Don't think you're going to walk it. I'm telling you, Them man. Yeah, they're not going to walk it. <laughs> yeah. Jackson, yeah. Jackson's about to hit a 30-goal <laughs> season. He's about to hit a 30-goal season out of a conference league goals only, bro. Going Kazakhstan isn't for the fate-hearted either. That journey is long. Yeah, man. You don't even
wheelchair when they lost the napkin, right? Like, when they lost the napkin, <laughs> 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 that's just like rods. So they're oh, actually using it. Okay, cool. Oh, I Say no more. Oh my God, this is horrible. So we've got you man in there. Yeah, no, that's not my team. That's not your team. So we got we got Applewell there. We got Applewell, Astana, Bashak Shehir, Borac. I don't know. Don't say them. Copenhagen, tough team. Copenhagen, yeah. Man, because they recognise the team, tough team. Florentina, Florentina. If they can beat us, they can beat you. Yeah, Florentina. Florentina. Yo, these are teams. How sick. Heidenheim made it. I don't know how they made. They were in the Bundesliga too, like three seasons ago. Bear in mind, we're going to be playing our players that. You'll Lugano. go out there and show yourself. This is your chance to get into Monday. the Premier League team. Nah, he's he's a bro, team. Talking, so these geez. are brothers like Chuko Mecca and that, that. They're trying to get in the team. Go play in the conference. Yeah, league, even Chilwell might Chelsea players are just going to go there and just go get injured, isn't it? Yeah. Even yeah. if you didn't, just, <laughs> just, just get injured. Well, some of them bitches to be fair. Your league season, so There's Mulder. Mulder's there. Lugano. Legio Warsaw. Panathinaikos. Panathinaikos. Shamrock Rovers. Real Betis. That's tough, man. Rapid VN. Vittoria. That's the only, yeah, they're the main yeah, ones I can think of. <laughs> those, yeah, those are the main I, ones. Yeah. Yeah. Those, are the, those are the ones that we might not even come across because they're not each other. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. From your eight games, I would expect eight eight wins, basically, from Chelsea, personally. And I it's like, that's should, just if, yeah. if we're trying to take them, you know what I mean, to the cleaners, in it, but we probably mm. don't need eight wins to go through. So, a couple of games here and there, play the young boys, keep it light. Make oh, sure is that their injured. group stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's their certain group. fixtures, oh, yeah. Okay. And all I know is they're going to Astana. Uh, which is in Kazakhstan, if I'm not wrong. But yeah, um, me and Big Dan were talking about it uh, before the podcast started. Our Europa League teams coming down to the Europa Conference League? Just like the Champions League teams going down yeah, to Europa. Yeah, yeah. Champions, 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 Champions League isn't going down. Champions League isn't going down. Champions League isn't going down. Maybe you're out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Out. Okay. So maybe yeah. with the Europa League, it might be the same. It might maybe be the same. It really depends. Yeah. Yeah. But I know so Champions it'll League. make your life easy if they yeah. don't then, basically. <laughs> that's, that's we're not worried about that. All right. Let's move on to Manchester City because they are just a machine that seems to be getting the next Premier League title already under their belt, even though it's like four games Done. Five in a row. Five in a yeah. Row. Five in a row no one's ever done it either. Five in a row. Pep no Guardiola's... one did four in a row. Yeah. Oh, yeah, true. Of course. But Pep Guardiola has got to get the fifth one with this fantastic Tight side. 2 1 win against Brentford. Brentford did well. They did get the goal at the first half, and then Erling Haaland is just Erling Haaland. Yeah, who allowed Erling Haaland's transfer to go through, and why didn't no one try to battle it? Why did he? Why was he given that through goal, through ball straight to Manchester City? Why weren't you lot attacking so I, for him? Should I tell you the problem? Should I tell you the problem? Go on. Right? We uh, don't hate City enough. We've got yeah, too much yeah, hate for yeah, each yeah, other yeah. more than City. We we've need got, to be we've got hating them. Yeah, yeah, we need to hate them. Like, <laughs> hate them. You see the way they're taking players from us? That's how it should have been for yeah, City. When they were yeah. linked with Haaland, somebody should be like, yo, you man, let's put like 60 million. <laughs> yeah, that's what they're like, getting. Bro, we need to challenge them. Who challenges them for them for players? I'm already fumbling. This guy, God, has got me. Like, who challenged? <laughs> the last time they got challenged for a player was probably with Rice. And even then, people are saying, yeah, City didn't really want him. Like, yeah, yeah, any yeah, player yeah. they go for, someone needs to be behind them. Like, yeah, even if they don't want him, yo, we just left them to do what they want to do. But I can't keep close to five in a row. I for, think for this transfer window well. has been the best. What? As well. yeah. Julian Alvarez for 75, 80, like, like selling him for that. Like, that's, that's like, that's dodgy. That's, that, it's dodgy, but it's good business for them, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. getting Gundogan on the free, oh, yeah. starting the first gate, Savino is a quality, quality player. Yeah. 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 They, they've made a copy and paste of Mares and yeah. put him straight into the team. I don't know how they. Kyle Walker's still. Flourishing in that side as well, and he's thirty four, by the way, as well. I think sometimes I forget I his age. That old, you know? yeah, yeah, I yeah. sometimes forget his age. The fact that he's thirty four, he's been and in he's, the perfect ages. Yeah, he's yeah, still he a world class player. Yeah, it's amazing, and I just feel like they're gonna do the Premier League. Do you reckon oh. Champions League as Boy, well this season? Nah, double. If, nah, not Champions League. Yeah, domestic yeah, double, yeah. not Champions League. Domestic well, treble. Cup. Nah, just just allow it, man. Just, just be happy with having five in a row, in it. And then Pep Guardiola, <laughs> you call it a day. You, like, you and know everybody else barely out. Let's for draw the, a line under it. All right, let's have a trophy. Leave something for the rest of us, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> uh, let's have a little thing then about Pep Guardiola. If he was to leave Manchester City, mm. where do you reckon his next move's going to be? Do you reckon he goes Saudi? I have a feeling he could go to Saudi Arabia, you know. International. Yeah, and like, manage like a little. Al Nasser just getting the money up. I reckon yeah. he probably wants a World Cup now. Yeah, international. Do you reckon? Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. But he's going like Spain. He don't. He doesn't England. want to manage Spain. England. So, oh. Nah, they're not going to want him. 
Because he's a bit, you know what I mean? They're not going to want him. He, he, it's his not. own way or nothing. He's going to be telling yeah. the FA, shut up. I don't need, I don't need to be telling some yeah, players. Yeah, but maybe the FA will be willing to bend to his will for a couple of years <sighs> yeah, so that he embeds yeah. the whole pep I mean, If England know what's best for them, then yeah. Yeah, if England want to yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you got Lee Carsley, you know what I mean? He's good as well, he's good as well. Talk about polar opposites, but he's actually decent, isn't he? He's good, Lee Carsley's one of your just bring all these dons he knows. The two of them, Playing yeah. stuff, yeah, it's probably the complete opposite yeah, in it. But, but yeah. as a coach, the cast seems to be half decent as well. So yeah. it's like Guardiola, I reckon he could do something for England, man. Yeah, like, I agree yeah, with definitely. that. Yeah, definitely. But I do feel like if he doesn't go international, he'll go like Saudi Arabia or something and just, just live his life out there. I feel because yeah. they'll do anything for the propaganda, wouldn't they? Def- yeah, definitely. They, they'd want their league to be. Yeah, like, you, reckon like, he, you reckon he's like you know Guardiola is a bit yeah I know yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I get that but let's remember as a player he, he went there he went yeah. there as well, as well. He after he's yeah. drunk yeah. cheating and stuff oh is it oh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah he went he there was, yeah, yeah. He so went there. is it Saudi or Qatar it, no, it's, yeah, it's one of the one two. One of the two. It's yeah. one of the two, but yeah, yeah he's he's got caps already over there. So maybe, maybe I'm just thinking he could go back there. I hear it though, because yeah. you know what I mean that that money's hard to resist. Apparently, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, what I, I mean? think we've already done yeah. done at City as well. It's wow. just like why say no? Yeah, you, you know his thing is already that five, like you said, Ivan Tony, four hundred grand a week. Yeah. Like who says no to that? <laughs> You're a doppelganger. <laughs> <laughs> How would you feel it's about that? Like, yeah, they do. How do you feel about that? Hold up, you're telling me that. That face there, yo, I that face. Yo, that face there. That's Let's quickly, so let's do some doppelgangers. So Ivan Tony right there. Who are you two? Have you two got any? Nah, you look like that. Have you not looked at it like that? Nah, you ain't looking like that. I ain't looking like that. Oh, like that. Oh, comment, that. I've had David Ryer in the comments before, right? And I, I just, yeah, 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 yeah. But I don't have the nose yeah, job. You, don't have yeah, it, you know yeah, what I mean? So that's a bit crazy. That's a bit crazy. But comment below what you guys think that Ali and Ayo look like. Which footballers they look like. I've seen in Kunku for you, actually. I'm not going to say that. Yeah, I've seen him. I've seen him. Oh, this place, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I've seen him. Yeah, I, I, I would man, like to hear what other man, people say. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You like that balloon celebration then? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Where I, does I'd he want it? it in his sock. <laughs> <laughs> that's a stinky yeah, yeah. balloon, bro. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. when it's a, a big game, a big winner, then pull out the balloon yeah, in it. Yeah, but you yeah. know what I mean? Did he pull it out against Bournemouth? He pulled it out every single time. I don't know what he did against Bournemouth. He pulled it out in the conference. He only plays that once every four games. He's like, no, that Anthony did. When Pele died. He put it up before the match started. He was like, I don't know if I'm going to get that. Let me do it now. I don't know. Anthony is hilarious, bro. He put it on and he's like, yo, Pele, this is for you. Because right now, I the don't know. The game, All bro. I got was a spin a rune if you know. <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing more. Well, if another player scored yet, yeah, I reckon he would have viewed it. Yeah, 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 he would have yeah, been yeah, like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, bro, are you <laughs> mad? <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. What a lad. Oh. oh, that was short and sweet on Man City. Oh. I love that little talk. Let's move on to Manchester United now, though. Uh, the, I think the most goals scored in this weekend's games, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 3 0 oh, finish. 3 0. Some people said that it still wasn't a convincing 10 hard performance. It wasn't. It's... Well, go ahead. This is your platform now to talk about Man United. How do you feel about the game? How do you feel about Man United as well with Jerry Rashford scored? Mm, mm, mm. But yeah. Um, well, Southampton, isn't it? So it's not even a win that any United player should be getting gassed about. Mm. Obviously, it's a nice result. Mm. Three goals scored. We didn't know when it was coming. <laughs> like, you get me? Clean sheet. Um, I, th- I don't even think we've got a minus goal difference for now anyway, so... Uh, not, uh, you guys are <laughs> zero again. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what Mandem are fixing? I don't think we've got a minus goal difference. You have to have a minus goal difference, you know? I don't believe him, I don't believe him. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, we've got a positive goal yeah. 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 It's just zero, isn't it? It's all right, it's not minus, but flipping... Southampton are just like... I already said that they were going down at the beginning of the season when I was even doing the predictions in it. So that's a team. Now they got Rabzal, they secured that because yeah, of his legacy. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I think they um they were on us for like the first 20, 30 minutes. You mm. know what I mean? We were under the cosh for sure. Um, but we just had to weather the storm. Uh individual brilliance, man, with United. Do you know what I mean? When you when you even oh, look at the goals, show. Do you know what I mean? Fantastic player. He's just the perfect Im- impact sub, I can't lie. What's Garnacho. his what's his better position? The left side or the right side? Because he seems to play a bit of both. I think I think I like him on the right. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, Do you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? I think 
Because I feel like on that left side, he's always trying to cut and it's, it's so predictable. Yeah. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So I feel like while, whilst he's still developing as a player, I think it's nice to see him on that right side as well, to be mm. fair. I feel like right or left though, he will he will cause troubles and that's that's what I like the most. Mm-hmm. But um, just going into the game, I feel like um, you still lack structure when you think about yeah. it. Like when we're on the ball, it's just like, what are we really trying to do? Like, what is this? What is this coach coach? <laughs> I, I, I still don't see it. Yeah. Um, but obviously against against teams like Southampton, mm. you just have those moments where when you get the chance, you shoot, goes back in the net. Yeah. You get the dub in it. I don't mm-hmm. even, it's not even something I want to, Bruno, Bruno didn't have the greatest of games, but he got an assist. Ahmad. Hero ball. No. I want to speak about Ahmad because Ahmad played a full 90. Yes. Um, and every time I think it was, I saw some stat about it, he's created the most chances for Man United as a young kid in like in, in some time. I don't know anyway, but all I know is that mm. Ahmed is that player yeah, that we need to hold on to mm. and we need to make sure that we're playing him and giving him minutes, let him grow yeah. in, in, in confidence because... I think he's full stat to happen as well, especially yeah, yeah, from yeah. last season. I think Ted Hogg started to... In that in them FA Cup <clears throat> games, Ten Hag was a yeah, bit like, okay, I don't really want to play I you, like you yeah. but <laughs> I'll give you the FA Cup. You play them FA Cups, and, and that's why you're I playing like well. And now you got to play the Prem. Just like, yeah, you know what I mean. He did this with Sancho. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> he did yeah, this with yeah. Central, so yeah. I'm a, I'm a, a team, I'm, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Let's <laughs> not get into. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just haven't. Um, I'm at this thriving. Um, Xerxes as well. He's he's linking up play very well. There seems to be split opinions about Xerxes. Yeah, right? I, mean, think, 40, I think it's how because. Much? How much was it, sorry? Like 40 mil? 40 yeah, 40 mil. mil. Yeah. Just under 9.5, because he says he's a 9.5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> he calls himself a 9.5. Like, isn't we were all yeah. cooking years used for that. We were cooking <laughs> Arsenal when years used for that. So <laughs> him coming and saying that and actually like missing chances that a top striker should be scoring yeah. is still like. Obviously, hmm. I think obviously United wanted player, uh, wanted a player that's going to make our attack click in it. And hmm. he does that well. Mm-hmm. I reckon the goals will come. I was a bit frustrated at the two chances that he missed. Yeah. He had at least one that he definitely should have been scoring. I think yeah. obviously he's, he's just, he's just coming to the, into the Premier. He's trying to adapt. Like there's a lot going on um, in terms of him really trying to impress. Yeah. Maybe that's why. So I'm, I'm still going to give him the benefit of the doubt. But in terms of actually <clears throat> helping our overall attack, He's doing that very, very well, isn't it? Okay. So you can't really complain, but the goals need to come. I want to see a Hoyland, innit? I want to see a fully... I was going to ask you a question goal. about them two, actually, if that's yeah. all right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a question for the table. Who's mm. the better striker, Joshua Xerxes or Hoyland? A striker, what do you want your striker to do? I thank you very I think, much. Did, did, what do you want your striker to do? Go I'll give you the goals. Hoyland. Okay. But if you want your striker to create... Zexy. Okay. Zexy's yeah. giving Kai Havertz vibes, isn't it? Where it's like. Okay. He's a link up guy. Yeah, I did yeah. links up well. I never yeah, thought yeah, it was a good right. signing in the first place. I felt I felt it was a bit like, mm, you could. It, it's, 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 it's too high of a level, especially with Man United. The stage you get, the ceiling you get, the, yeah. the memes you get made about like the the losses you have as a, yeah. as a player. It's just got to be like. It's got to be interesting. He's, he's not a kid though. He's like what, like 23, 24? So I feel no, like, he's not. I feel no. like he's at. I feel like he's at a decent age, and he's actually a quality player. Like okay. if you watch him, you can see that like, he's a quality player. So More of a player I than think... Hoyland, do you reckon? Like and t- technically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah technically, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I think you need to match definitely. the two of them together. Yes, yes. and then you got. To... Like yeah, a do you know what I mean? I, I want to <laughs> see. I want to see them play together at some point this season. I don't so know does that mean Bruno has to be sacrificed? No, you can't sacrifice Bruno. I I'm mean, just saying. I'm just saying because Bruno, Bruno wants to occupy die. those. Joshua, <laughs> Bruno wants to him. occupy those Xerxes positions too. Yeah, just saying. Yeah, I'm just yeah. saying. Yeah. And, and mm, you maybe that's why Bruno he's thinking for two to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, okay. So that's that's the job that Ten Hag has got, which I don't think he's going to do well. But <laughs> we'll see. In it, you know what I mean? All I can do is be hopeful right now. Still. All right, Van Nistelrooy, his number two. Lurking. Is he there? <laughs> yeah, that is exactly what I was going to say. Is he there to be a number two or is he actually waiting for that position to be free? He's, he's making notes, hard. isn't it? He's talking to yeah. the star. Like, yeah, he's, he's the one doing the talking. Like yeah. Him, yeah. For sure. He's a club legend, so... Is he... Is he gonna take? Is Ten Hag gonna get sacked this season? Of course, because deep in you, man. <laughs> when have you ever heard of a club openly saying that they're looking for a manager and then didn't find another manager and now, yeah, we're going to stick with Ten Hag. Yeah, yeah, like, they openly yeah, said yeah, they're searching well, for a manager, innit? And, like, yeah. and that's like, oh, yeah, don't worry, don't worry, Eric. We're yeah. sticking with you, bro. You're, yeah. you're the guy for us, but you were Facts. here looking for, probably talking to Tisha or talking to Definitely. all of these managers. Yeah. Like, I think obviously how Ineos see it is just, um, they're putting it all on Ten Hag in the sense of, well, to be fair, they're putting the pressure on themselves as well because they've kept this manager when really and truly a lot of this 
Smart United fans know anyway that this guy really ain't the guy that's going to take us back to the promised land, isn't it? But I feel like it's going to be one of them ones where if it goes really bad, they're Mm -hmm. going to sack him. And if he does a job towards it till the end of the season and maybe gets us top four, wins us Europa, then we'll go from there. I would still want him to go even if he does win us Europa, Uh, depending on how we go. Yeah, 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 exactly. But... I don't know, man. Time will tell. Time, time will tell with Ten Hag. If Ten Hag wins Europa, you're not getting him out of that door. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no matter stay, how yeah. you second like, say, I want a trophy. Yeah, yeah, stay. Yeah, yeah. Like, winning trophies is important, isn't it? So yeah. Yeah. that's what he said, didn't he? he said after City, it's me. It's I'm important. Yeah, he's yeah. not yeah. wrong. He's you not don't wrong. know what you're talking he's about. Yeah. Pulled out the maddest technicality. Bro, he said I've <laughs> won two. <laughs> Everywhere I go, I win. <laughs> the mad thing is, what Liverpool have won two Carabao Cups nah, as well. Yeah, so he's telling you, he didn't win two Carabaos though. He won one FA. One FA. You know, you yeah. won that in time. That's awful. That's why like, that's why like, just lying because Liverpool have won the Carabao and the FA Cup. So two Carabao's and the FA Cup. So he's, he's not. Not since he's been there. Yeah, but he's yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why he's on the line. That's shameless. That's shameless. He is shameless. He is shameless. The player of the weekend we're going to talk about is John Duran. The goal he scored against Everton was a blitz. <laughs> Cocaina. <laughs> guy, that's a long game. The guy's a real striker. We're yeah. people, people laughing when Chelsea He's were interested in him. We were linked to him too as well. Yeah. 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 It makes yeah, sense you know, now, don't it? It makes sense now. He's a goal scorer. Oh. And bear in mind, he's never been starting for Villa, isn't yeah, he? No, he comes on. Been, I think he's got Who seven goals off the bed. Who actually takes the top two shoots from there? Top bins. Swerving in the air. That's a confident guy that knows he's that guy. Bear in mind, this is someone that this summer was doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was doing that. That's that's like, man, he's got that Ivan Tony kind of eye. I love players like that as well, man. Yeah. I love players like that. I think it does it definitely now that the season started, it makes sense why uh, Chelsea yeah. and United do want him. And it's do you jarring. Think- Huh? And it's jarring Yeah now definitely His price has gone up 80, yeah. Yeah. Gone 80, up. 80 million I mean? You can't get that him for goal? anything less that definitely ups his value yeah, for like, like 20 M's. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think like, do you feel like though there's an Emery tag on it, like boost on him as a player? Because we know Emery with strikers. He does well with strikers. He does yeah, well yeah. with strikers. And the Laka, way, yeah. yeah, he was great. No, like, but this is this, this is a different like level. Like I feel like he could have that this guy is like, talented. Yeah, it's just yeah. pure talent. Yeah. He's not starting. He knows well. how to find yeah, the back of the net. Bro. He's just a shooter, yeah. bro. Like, you see, he's just a he's shooter. Banging like. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And from the MLS as well, straight yeah. from the I MLS. I didn't know, know that 20. Have you seen the size like, of him? Like, yeah, you don't yeah, know 20. Yeah, you know yeah. the you know them South Americans also. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they lie on their head. Yeah. 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 Yo, he looks mature. Yeah. Yeah. You see his thighs, man. He's smashing it. Bro, the guy is just he's just smashing. And the back lift is not even much. He's just bro. He's just banging that power. Yeah, People acting like Pickford's got small arms and that. People don't that, yeah, man. He's stretched. Yeah. Nah, he's stretched. Nah, nah, nah. I'm sure. Yeah, fantastic Yo. player. Fantastic Minute. player. Bring back long shots in the Prem, man. Real his, Barclays, his man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 long shots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's Barclays, yeah. 100%. Shots. Well, there we go. That is, I believe, the end of the podcast. Thank you to everyone watching. Make sure you comment below what you guys think. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Yes, peace. peace out.